Hello, I'm Chris Sanford. In the vice, I have a blue flash damsel. I'm reliably informed that this is the most popular fly in the United Kingdom. Hundreds, if not thousands, are sold every year. Um, the blue flash was first introduced to a damsel by Richard Walker. The guy who told me, Peter Cockwell, in his fine fishing shop in Albury and Surrey. Um, and I was discussing this with my chum Chris, who I, I fish with all the time, and uh, he said, well, if those are the colours that attract fish the most, why don't you do a blue flash bugger? <laughs> now, I should explain. This is the flash bugger here, this chap here. And it's um, a fly that's been ever so successful for us. I've uh, even f featured it on my DVD. <laughs> oh, yes, we don't care here, you know. <laughs> and... Um, he said to me, well, if these are the colours that attract the fish, why don't you do a blue one? I thought, what a good idea. So that's what we're going to do today. I, I tied some up the other day. We've given them a try. They really work. I'll say they work. My goodness me. I use them in the winter as well when I'm fly fishing for coarse fish. And, uh, of course, in the still waters uh, for trout. Okie dokie. Right, what I've done here is I've tied in the blue flash. Now, you're looking at that and you're going, that's not blue. No, it's not. Let me explain. Uh, the, um, this is called Copper Blue Unimalar 1 16th number 10. It is copper on one side and it is blue on the other side. Good idea, eh? Saves so buying two different spools. So I've tied some in facing forward over the eye because I want to move it back at the end of the fly and then the blue will be on the upside. Yeah? Okay. Um, I've also tied in one of these splendid beads from Mr. Venyard's Glass Damsel Twin Bead Eyes in Iridescent Green. Have a look at those. Look at those chaps. They're super, aren't they? Double, double bead with a hole in the middle. So what I've done is I've built, a, a, once again, a, a little bump of thread, put some super glue on it, push the bead forward so it fits nice and tight and done figure of eight wraps and now it's absolutely solid, it's right there. Um, so I'm going to reattach the thread which is the Vivus uh, 100D, there it is. Reattach the thread and after that we're going to put on a bit of lead because we want it to go down but we don't want to go too deep, just sort of mid-water to arrest these little tinkers when they're swimming about. Oh yes. All right. Um, I use this lead once again from the Vineyard Company. Jolly good. Take a little piece of it like that. And uh, just about, I suppose, I don't know, seven or eight wraps, maybe a few more. One, two, three, four, five, six, a few more. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's enough. Nib off the one at the back and just smooth it down like that. And the one at the front and put a bump of thread behind the lead here to help the taper of the body. Bring it forward and build up the thread here, right here, like that. And while you're doing that, bring the thread forward and bind down the lead, okay? All the way down here and stop between, I would say, the, uh, the barb and the point. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in the flash, uh, the blue flash, and for that we're using Crystal Flash. It's a great blue colour, isn't it? Lovely blue. Absolutely marvellous. I prepared some here. I used to tie the blue in either side of the tail, but I was watching a guy the other day, and he ties the flash in first, and I said, why do that? He said, well, it, it helps support the tail. And I think it shows better, he said. Well, I said, we'll give it a go. Can't argue with it, really, till you try it, can you? Then what we're going to do is we're going to tie some olive marabou on top of that. Always trying to keep the taper of the body if we can. We won't worry about that sticking up there because it'll soon vanish. OK, here we are. Olive marabou. Yeah. We're going to take... A lot of people don't use the end of the marabou. I think it makes a jolly nice tail. I don't know why people don't. There it is but always give it a bit of the jolly old saliva. Like that. Easy to deal with. Cut it off. Boom. And 
and measure it. You want it to be a little bit longer than the flash and to sit neatly behind the bead. So you need to take that little bit off. Okay, lovely. And as this dries out, you will see it makes a lovely, lovely tail. About there, I think, chaps. And you've got a nice body starting to happen here. You've also got a naughty bit of flash hanging down under the bead, which I shall get hold of in a moment and chastise severely. Take a turn underneath the tail to perk it up. Yes, I know. Bring the uh, thread to the front and nip off those naughty bits you left there before, Christopher. Next thing you need is some gold wire. Um, this wire is called um, Ultra Wire UTC Hot Yellow. Might as well, why not? Hot yellow wire. Get it nice and straight before you start. And uh, somewhere, oh, there they are, I have got some a pair of old scissors I use for cutting wire, which I find is the best way to deal with it. Okay, right down there. Um, I always tie the wire in underneath the body. What you do is you attach it with a couple of loose turns, pull it through, there we are, and then tightly tie it underneath the fly. All the way along like that. Doesn't matter if it shows a bit, they can be open turns, it doesn't matter because you are going to cover it up. The rest of the materials we put in in the order with which we wind them forward. Okie dokie. So the next thing we're going to do is to tie in a bit of green grizzle hackle. Now it can be any colour you like. It doesn't have to be green, but it should be brighter than the marabou. Um, I've prepared a bit here. Notice that I have cut it so I've left a tiny bit of the feather on there so it won't pull out. Right. And I'm going to tie it sort of across the fly so that when I wind it forward that helps with the yeah, that'll be fine. Now I'm going to tie in the chenille. Um, I've showed you this before, but if we tied the chenille in with the end like that, it would be terribly bulky. So we try and expose the core. And I've shown you this before, but I've taken a pair of cutters. And I put a little notch in each blade. So then you put the chenille into the two little notches like that, and you give it a pull. And there, folks, is the exposed core. I know, simple isn't it? How much are we going to need? Always take a little too much because if you don't take enough you look such a prawn. Uh, that should do it about there I think. Right, tie it in at the back here as I say and then we are ready to make the assembly. Lovely. All right. Leave the thread at the front and wind the chenille forward in touching turns. And tie it off. Six turns will do it. Nice and tight. Take your scissors and snip it off. Now we've got the basis of the body here. Next thing we're going to do is to wind the hackle forward. Take it one turn at the back like that. Then take it in between the folds of the chenille. When we get to this stage, I think it's best to use the jolly old hackle pliers, otherwise we're going to get an attaché. We're going to get a bit short. That's brought it to the front. We'll just tie it off one and two. I'm pleased with that. Nice looking little hackled body. Some people like to have the hackle very long and flowing. I like it to be stiff and sticking out because I think it's a disturbs the water better. and It is more interesting to the fish who is about to eat it, he said, hopefully. Then, the exciting bit, folks, we take the blue flash and we pull it back over the fly like that. Oh, and we take the wire and take two close turns of wire over the blue flash. Then you come forward in open turns through the hackle to the front and secure it behind the bead. One more thing to do here, just cut off the wire. As I say, some people just nib it off and wiggle it off. I find it disturbs the fly, so I just take it off with the scissors, like that, and 
turn it down with my nail, there you go. And at the back, of course, you've still got this bit of blue. Pick it up carefully. Cut it off, a little, make a little tag. There we are, lovely. So there you have it. We'll do a couple of whip finishes. One, two. I'm pleased with that. We'll put a little bit of glue underneath to secure everything. There we are. Working well. Lovely. So there you have it, folks. The Blue Flash Bugger. Tie it, try it, and catch a very large one. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Now, if you'd like to see a lot more flies, a lot more fun, and a lot more of my stuff, go to my website. It's at www.chrissanford.com.